and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some rank up Sunday action today. We got our first three decks that you see here. We're going to be playing them all in ranked. That's what the R means next to the deck lists. Starting with Gruul Midrange. I realize it's been a while since we've played Gruul Midrange. Um, had a lot of success with this at the beginning of the M20 format, and I've just been, you know, exploring with so many different decks and playing so many different brews and everything that it's been a, a long time since I've gone back to this deck. So we're going to remedy that right now. So we're going to go ahead and uh, play some Gruul today. Sideboard, like, I'm keeping the, the main deck the same as the last time we played it. I liked what we had going on. Sideboard, I am taking out the four Cinder Vines. I think that they were just a little too narrow, and we don't really see Nexus that much right now. There's a little bit of time like where Nexus was really popular, but we don't see it as much. So instead of the four Cinder Vines, I'm playing two uh, Reclamation Sage, so we still have some Artifact and Enchantment disrupt, uh, um, Destruction. Yeah, I guess that works. I'm playing one more Big Chandra in the sideboard, because if against that deck we like ramp into big chandra with giving them emblems that's pretty good but then big chandra can be good against um some uh control decks and stuff too harav with the sub thank you so much for that support i appreciate that hey bertolo good afternoon and uh, what was the last card added i just i put in a second ceratops that's right there's only one ceratops in there before so we're gonna have a second one of those against these flash decks and and you know whatever else this dinosaur does while it's like swimming around i guess it's swimming around whatever it's doing anyway uh this is our deck we're going to be playing five matches in ranked uh today that's what we're going to do with all three of these decks we're just going to play five matches the goal of course is to go three two with each deck that would be ideal uh, you know, doing better than 3-2, it would be, you know, even better than ideal. But we'll see how it goes. All right. Ugh, gruel midrange. We're at 99%. Almost to a hundo. Thanks, JJ. Hey, we have our third subscriber of the day, Ramu. Rama? Ramu. I feel like... Ramu. I feel like that's like a name that was in like a, a Final Fantasy. Like one of, like maybe like Final Fantasy X. Was that like an Aeon that you summoned or something? Like a, a lightning god kind of thing? I don't know. I could I could definitely be way off base. It is a lightning summon. Hurrah, we're starting that train sub. Yeah, stateful electro summon in the Final Fantasy games. Okay, see? I have a memory that's useful at times. Yep, a free Shiva. Hmm. Got some vampires. We could use some Ramu against the vampires. Hey, what's up, Lanowar Elf? Coming in right at time. Right at the right time, I see. Uh, is streaming a high investment? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Probably the biggest investment with streaming is, is your time. Okay, so we're going to need to... Let's get another mountain in here. Let's get rid of this knight. Alright, knight down. Of course, we don't get to adapt the Growth Chamber Guardian anymore. That Growth Chamber Guardian. But we just got to kill that Knight of the Ebon Legion. And now we can have the Sky Marcher Aspirants. 
covered. But now there's there's not really any expenses besides, you know, your computer and stuff. For streaming. Hey Kronos. Welcome and and hi Raphael. Hope you're having a good Sunday. Hmm. Let's just get Phoenix out here, right? I mean, I could just do Growth Chamber and Adapt. Maybe I'll just do that. I don't think I want to do Domery Growth Chamber. Yeah, I'm going to do Growth Chamber Adapt. Whoa. Cancel. Don't be hasty, Master Mariaduck. So definitely want to get the block in first so that if they have the removal spell in response to the Growth Chamber Guardian, we still get that block. Ugh. The knight. Yeah, the knight's tough. Kitty. Hey, fire. How's, how's your paper going? Yeah, the one drop you don't want to see turn five. That's Knight of the Evan Legion. That card pretty good. Five pages in another 12 to go. Ugh, so many pages. Well, just keep keep rocking and rolling there. You'll you'll hammer out those twelve more pages in no time. You have enough wild cards to make one deck. Any suggestions? The yeah, the amount of good choices you can make with with any deck is is just too high. Really, that's kind of something that you need to pick for yourself. Uh. You can kind of play anything you want in the format. So, you know, like, basically play something that you think looks looks really interesting and and something that you're going to enjoy. Um, but, but yeah, you can kind of... You can kind of go anywhere. Um, hmm... Before they draw removal there. Duels are for personal. Let's just fight. Who are revel in devastation? Wow, that's an aggressive attack. I don't I don't know the point of that attack, to be honest. That's just the I would like to be dead attack. That's the I'm giving up on this game attack.
And there's the... I'm giving up on this game concession. Okay, let's see. Let's get all these lava corals in here. I don't think I want Chandra. I think Chandra's going to be a little slow. I think. Could be wrong there. I think so, though. This is the kind of matchup that I'm, like, never sure if I'm supposed to be playing Vela Summer. Like, I, I don't really want Vela Summer, but then I don't play it, and then they dispark my Rekindling Phoenix, and then I'm sad. Or, like, I do have Veil of Summer, but they just have, like, all their creatures that are running me over, and I'm just sitting with the Veil of Summer in my hand, and I'm sad. It's like a no-win situation. It, it never, like, works out the way it's supposed to. How do we handle Soren? Uh, attacking it, I suppose. Domery's Ambush deals damage to Planeswalkers. Vivian's Minus deals damage to Planeswalkers. So we can also do both of these. It's like, what if we do this? This is what I'm thinking here. Unless I'm supposed to be doing this Veil of Summer. But I don't, I don't know if Veil of Summer is like really that much better than any of these things. Let's try this. I'm pretty sure this is a hand that we should keep shuffling and mulligan. Okay, we'll try this. Now, Nissa is pretty good, but do we want like the site? Yeah, I guess we, guess we have to ditch Nissa. Sorry, Nissa, you good, but. How necessary was is Hellkite? Are you talking about like for this matchup? I could could definitely see the Hellkite um Okay, like I, I imagine Hellkite winning a a, a a scenario like where we are uh staring at each other kind of thing. Like it it wins the um whatever that's called the the games like where we're both battle stall there we go a, a board board stall there we go those are words that that I'm looking for yeah I imagine it wins those Uh, Denriel, whenever rotation is going to happen, the set, the set in the fall, will have more dual lands. I should block with a land war elf here. I should save ten life. There will be more dual lands in the fall set. Fall sets always have dual lands. We don't know what those dual lands look like yet, but there will be. Like those, those will be a thing. Speaking of Hellkite, Hellkite would be a pretty nice draw right about now. <laughs> they won't be fetch lands. No, stop. Stop. What is this Knight of the Ebon Legion business? Whoa. Attacking with Legion Lieutenant? All right.
Actually, I think this is my block. So then Legion's Lieutenant doesn't grow, but I guess it'll be the same. What if I... Yeah, I can't just not block. <clears throat> it's lethal if I don't block at all. What if I don't block with this thing? Take six. Hey, what's up, Hellkite? I was just talking about you, Skargan Hellkite. How about that? Uh, settle the wreckage. No, one, no, they they shouldn't have settled the wreckage in their deck. But two, it wouldn't matter because we have real spellbreaker. Oh, today today is level up Sunday. Also, with XP, we get a pack. Let's crack it open, and let's get a mythic. Gargos. That might be the very first Gargos I've I've opened. Actually, it's. It's been kind of weird. I have, like, almost all the rares in the set, but I don't think I actually opened any Gargoses yet. Yeah, I think that was the very first Gargos, which is crazy. There's probably, like, 20-ish, like, total... 20 to 30, like, total copies of rares that I need left in the set. You know, talking about, like, 4x of everything. And I just had never opened a Gargos. We finally got there. Yeah, we got a number... Number 1174. It's definitely not my pin number. Island. So is Gargos a good card? Yeah, it's a, it's a good card because, yeah, like you said, like the stats are, are really nice on the card. But whether or not a good card sees play is different. You know, like there are more good cards in standard than like ability to play everything kind of thing. I am going to play the Paradise Druid here. I don't really want it getting countered, but um, if they are countering... Paradise Druid, that means that they are slower. Okay, well, maybe this isn't blue-green flash. I was thinking it was blue-green flash. Oh. Well then. Draw a land, please. It's not really a land. Nature will take back what rightfully belongs to it. Stomping time. Vivian's basically a two a two power haste creature, basically, putting two counters on that spellbreaker like that. And considering we're gonna have lethal like the next turn now, like it's that's probably better than just playing the Phoenix. We we really want to draw lands to try to get this Chandra Awakened Inferno in play. Awesome, Amnesiac. Yeah, glad you're liking the new Grixis list. We're going to be playing that up next. Well, very good hand for them. This is their turn five. Let's draw land. Let's draw land. Yay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just messed this up. Did I? I forgot about Vivian's minus five for a minute there. Hmm. 
Hmm. I could have just minus five Vivian and, and went and grabbed Reclamation Sage and blown up that Ascanta. But I guess... We're fit enough to survive. Guess we're still doing just fine though. Because they were not gonna be flipping the Escanta, so I didn't I didn't mess it up too bad. They were not gonna be able to flip Escanta yet. Alright. Chandra, Rex Age. Hmm. I think Phoenix is kind of slow in this matchup. Dahmer's ambush is like I don't know, killing some Tamios. Sounds like a, a Magic the Gathering breakfast cereal. Tamios. I guess we take that out. We want some Ceratops. Suppose that's faster than Phoenix. So this can get like Chemist's Insight or Opt or Growth Spiral. This can not really do very much. I mean, stop a bounce bell, I suppose. Let's get Harpooners in here. Two mana, three, two. I like that more than four mana, four, three. All right, here we go. <laughs> Tammy, yo. <laughs> to the breakfast aisle. Uh, that's pretty good. I like how you spelled aisle. That's a good one. We have a pretty shocking hand here. Attack. <laughs> Let me aid your nutrition. <laughs> How did we win last game? We attacked our opponent from their t starting 20 life down to zero life. Yes, they had two Reclamations and an Escanta. They did not have enough extra turn spells. They played like one extra turn spell or maybe two and then ran out. Ascanta was not, not flipped because they didn't play very you know they didn't have very many cards, so they were not able to flip Ascanta. Hmm. So of course I can like play the Ceratops and attack for five, which is like my most aggressive turn this turn. But the next turn we're only attacking for five again. I think instead. I am going to go Paradise Druid, Kral Harpooner, which is not the very best thing I could do this turn, but then next turn, like we still get two damage in, right? So like we only lose out on three damage there, but then next turn we can play Ceratops with haste and then an attack for 10. So we would have just dealt 10 by playing this twice and now we get, I don't know, 13.
obviously I'm going to have Reclamation Sage, or I'm, yeah, Reclamation Sage going to blow up Wilderness Reclamation. It's just, do we do anything else? Yeah, we play Paradise Druid. So two, two, I guess like two bounce spells would save them here with this attack. It's kind of unlikely that they have two bounce spells, but if they do, that's the, that's the most likely outcome. Oh man, big Chandra would be a really good draw. Forgot about Chandra being in our deck. That'd be a good one. Darn. Oh, I am gonna love tearing this place to the ground. I'd get out of the way if I were you. There's just not any incentive to play Spellbreaker. Wow, no lands. So what do I have on my sideboard right now? I have Phoenix. Hey, how about that? Let's make this quick. I've got other things to burn. Oh yeah, we don't target with that. Is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? We're fit enough to survive. This should be over. Can't really imagine we lose from here. All right, 2 0. -oh. All right, good start. Rank up Sunday. Off to a really good start. Uh, game, yeah, game one. Chandra is like an auto win against Nexus, up taking her once. Not, not necessarily post board because post board they could have faster clocks. Like they could have um, things like Biogenic Ooze or Crasis or you know whatever that ends the game faster than than Chandra or than uh, the one emblem. But game one, it's. I don't think that they really have much of a shot. Um, our hand's pretty good. I guess Ambush. Just means we have nothing to do with on turn two by taking out Ambush, because they could have like their own mana creature that we want to Ambush. Oh, I should have switched colors of the kitty. We've been doing so good so far. No, give me that ambush back. No, should have ditched Vivian. Who knew? Wah, wah. Yeah, I, um, I don't know if these are like the, the three absolute best decks that I have for ranking up, but these are three good ones. 
I like the Golgari Stompy that we played yesterday quite a bit. Hey, how about that? That'll work. No knight. Yay, no knight. And no Soren. Hmm. All right, maybe I should go on Phoenix. certainly see them attacking with all these things so that they get to flip legions landing and be able to uh, play champion so I, I it's part of me that wanted to just arc bow kill the one one to keep them from being able to play the champion here but they could obviously just draw a land so Gotta kill Knight. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. You picked the wrong fight. Decklist is showing Rakdos? I thought I updated this. Alright, let me try it again. Yeah, that's that's the deck. That's the that's the right deck. Oh, but the, oh, the the deck list on Stream Decker. Okay, that that should be fixed now. Okay, go to blockers. Wow. Oh, I thought that... I thought they were going to pay for life again. Alright, so... We are like one point off of killing them. So we can put them down to one. Oh man, that, that may kill him. Yeah, that, that should kill him. Yeah, because we could already... Yeah, that's going to kill him. Do-do-do.
We could have already made the Phoenix eight power trample, but they had the one toughness to block it. This will be fun to watch. And there we go. Hey, what's up? Between three and 25 characters. Howdy. All right, so we're going to go Coil, Cutting, Chandra, and Domri. That's what we did last time. Worked out pretty well. So let's give another try. Yeah, Phoenix pretty good. Phoenix pretty good. Man, the Gaslight Anthem is a that's a good band name. That's a good one. I like Forest Mountain Ambush Growth Chamber Guardian. It's just kind of rough having 4 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop also. Mulligan. No, I'm going to keep it. No, I, I'd actually like keeping this a little bit more on the draw than on the play because, you know, we need to draw the lands. On on the play, I would be too... I would, I would definitely mulligan this on the play because I don't think that we would get to, like, the four mana. But I think on the draw, we have a better shot of getting there. I, I really like the, the ambush with the Growth Chamber Guardian. That, that would get us another Growth Chamber Guardian. Simic Flash. Certainly like Simic Flash. Yeah, it's a very strong deck. So I could go 4-4 four, four Spellbreaker, but I think it's probably better to, to get rid of one of those Lieutenants. We know they're not going to flip landing here. It's not the best trade for me. It's not the worst, though. I mean, we need to stay alive. Like, look how powerful our hand is. we we got to stay alive. It's still trading... You know, one one card for one card, kinda, and that Grill Chamber Guardian went and got another one. All right, so Phoenix is my better play, but if they have to spark, then I'm kind of in trouble. We already can kind of tell that they don't have other removal, right? Because they didn't just kill my Growth Chamber Guardian and then like kill me, so they don't have like a cast down. But I could certainly see them having it a spark. A moment of craving or something weird? I don't really know what this is about. I'm just going to block, though. I'm not sure. That's fine. Again, Phoenix would be my best card to play here, except for against Dispark. Even if they have Dispark. I'm only taking four now. Like, if their last card is Dispark, which I feel like it is. We're taking four now. Yeah, it's no surprise there. Ugh. Really punished for not just playing the two Growth Chamber Guardians. Wow, that was a really bad draw for me. Mm. So 
So we're down to three. So if they ever draw Soren, I'm dead. They have this first fort. So I would have gone. Ugh, I would have gone Vivian plus Growth Chamber Guardian if we had the three green source or four green sources, but we don't. Um, all right, we got to kill the Legion's Lieutenant. Just gotta make it so these things aren't just all two twos. Cyborg creature, do I? I've survived I? an apocalypse. I will survive you. We're fit enough to survive. I don't think I have anything good like in my sideboard creature wise for the Arcbow Ranger. Not that I can think of. Yeah, like Ceratops, but Ceratops isn't spectacular here. So yeah, I'm dead to a removal spell. Time. But I'm I'm gonna be dead pretty soon anyway to this Vanguard. This Adon this Adonto, sorry, this Adonto. So I'm just trying to pressure them because you know, like we've been dead to a Soren and dead to a dead to Soren and dead to a Sanctum Seeker for a while. So like Soren, Sanctum Seeker, Legion's Lieutenant, any of that kind of stuff. Removal spell. Darn. We just had to press the... Just had to press it, though. That, the, only, the reason why we lost that game was the one turn that I played Phoenix into the Dispark, because we we're going to have a backup Phoenix the next turn instead of playing the two 2-2s. Two that cost me that game. Because the, they had the Dispark, which, which I certainly read, but then they... They top deck that Sanctum Seeker to just do a, a lot of damage to me. And then I was in trouble. Yeah, I already talked about the Veil of Summer thing. It's it's a no-win situation. Veil of Summer is obviously amazing against a Spark, but... Like... The games that you have Veil of Summer, you don't have the other, like, it just doesn't work out that way very often when you actually play the games. Like, it's it's like you'll have Veil of Summer in your hand, and then you're just getting beaten down by creatures, and you don't have anything to, to deal with the creatures because you're just sitting with Veil of Summer. Or, you know, you you have your, your thing, you have to tap out to, like, play your thing. 
and then they... Then they still use their removal spell, and then you draw your Veil of Summer, and... It's hard for it to actually work, basically. I have survived Nico Bolas, and I will survive you. Big Elf. This will be fun to watch. Yeah, it, yeah. Last night we were talking about having a, a five color Simic deck. Uh, I haven't really started making it. Uh. Or anything yet. I'm made for conflicts like this. My, my, how you've grown. Hey Greenhorn, this is this is Hawkeye. I've let Scarlet down. Hmm. Try to base fade out the cast down. Didn't work. I've survived an apocalypse. I will survive you. I'd get out of the way if I were you. Cool. No, not cool. Together we can banish evil from this place. I will lend you my strength. Indestructible. Ah. Well, you're annoying. That's a great one. That's honestly a great one. A little unfortunate, I don't quite have enough mana to play another Growth Chamber Guardian. And, you know, unless I use the Paradise Druid, but I want the Paradise Druid to kill the Gideon. Okay, what's wrong? You're scratching your ear so much. <laughs> Stomping time.
strength gave out. Yeah, if we give the Guardian two counters, it doesn't... It doesn't... You don't get two... You don't get to... You don't get two adapts. It's still just putting... You know, it's just like whenever you adapt, you put two counters on it, but you only get one, one other Growth Chamber Guardian. Same kind of thing here. I'll return with larger predators. Okay. That was good enough. Three and O. Oh. Man, Vivian Arqua Ranger is awesome. Getting some seven six Paradise Druids over here. XP. All right, three and oh. We're going to be playing two more matches here with Gruul before we go, go on to our other decks in our Rank Up Sunday stream today. this either I'm not gonna go to five I'll keep this one just hope our opponent doesn't have hoping they don't have like enough power on the battlefield to kill the Domri and that we get to go turn for Nissa Always vampires. I didn't know this was Vampire Sunday. <laughs> yeah, I already have. Yeah, a thousand for the last day. You get an invite to the next qualifier. But if you were just also a thousand for the previous two months, you already have that qualifier. So I already have that from two months ago. Well, it looks like we kept the wrong hand. Yeah, it's a good call. It's a vampire weekend. Good call there. Good call. Vampire weekend. Hey, Black Geppetto. Welcome back for the eighth month in a row. You are a rock star. Thanks for that resub. Sub number four on the day. All right, we'll take out those Domries and the Chandra, bring in the coils. Call it a day. Sunday's the day of the dead. Ugh, well, vampires aren't, well, yeah, the vampires aren't dead, right? I don't think so. I think that's zombies, right? What are what are vampires classified are classified as? Mad cow for a donation deck. It's a twenty dollar donation. You just send me your deck and tell me what day and what time slot for second, third, or fourth you want me to play it. It's easy as that. A lot of it they're undead. A lot of information about that in the info panel. Also, also if you just go to my info panels. Yeah, Hawkeye, this isn't good. I guess we could go to five, but let's just see if we draw some creatures here this time. Is Tripolitan, Ice Tripolitan, one of those, or something similar. You are also a rock star. Thanks for that sub. Keeping our hype boats going in the chat there. Yay. Best possible draw. <laughs> I 
Which reanimator deck would I suggest? Probably Sultai with Tamiyo. Yeah, prob probably that. Ancient vampire lord. Foolish. Welcome to the family. Hmm. They're going to use the Domri's Ambush now because if they do kill the Spellbreaker... Then we don't get to Domri's Ambush anymore. This wasn't my we really need to draw creatures. Draw some Rekindling Phoenixes or something. I guess we had to lose to vampires one time. Did not have very competitive hands here. Opponents taking their time during their turns, though, because they have some tough choices. Which must be nice. Wish we had choices. Just Hydra. Nature is beautiful. All right, well, unfortunate match here. You're going to have these. Every once in a while. But we'll see if we can get back at it and finish up four and one. Sometimes you just mulligan and have lands and your cards that care about creatures, but no creatures. No, Gruel Arc Bow is, is still pretty good. You get ill, you know, you make it an ill hark deck. We had, we had a good Gruel Arc Bow deck last format. I, I haven't mm -hmm. updated it with M20 yet. These hands have not been good. No, vampires are not broken. We beat vampires the other two times and then just had really bad hands there and lost pretty bad. So we still went 2-1 against vampires. And now we got Teamer Scry.
The Growth Chamber Guardians have definitely been very good for us. Looks like a team or control deck, from what we can see so far. Nisa, first time casting Nissa. We got more Nissas where that came from. Yet again, we wanted to just try to draw spells, hopefully. Not like lands. The of the moon, like waxes and wane. I'm assuming they're going to grab Lightning Strike to kill the Growth Chamber Guardian, but never know. Forgotten. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Behold, nature's true power. Of course, if, if they had like removal for the Growth Chamber Guardian, we would have been able to play our other Vivian, our Vivian there. So is this just like a control, like is this, this kind of feels like this is Nexus that is just playing red for some removal. That's what I think. I think this is just Nexus splashing for like lightning strike and stuff, like red removal. I don't know. If they're playing a whole lot of removal, though, I guess Phoenix, Phoenix's value does go up against removal spells. Get Domery out. Depending on what our, our opponent really shows us, I may, you know, be taking out these Veil of Summers again and playing like Daredevil, Phoenix, you know, getting some more of this stuff in. Oh, uh, this card. I knew there was a card I was missing. Yeah, give me the, give me that card. Um I'm playing Harpooner because it's a two mana three two, and it's, which is faster than a three mana four three at killing people. But just playing one. Oh. It's always a chance that you have like a, a random Hydroid Crisis in here after sideboard that we want that we get to kill with a Harpooner. Also, you never know.
Yeah, New Vivian adds counters, fights, and... I don't really need to... Uh, then the minus five can go grab a creature from our sideboard. So we can go grab, like, a Daredevil. Um, or the other Harpooner. So if you, you can kind of think about like those uh, counters that that Vivian adds as like kind of like a haste creature, you know, getting adding two power to another creature. It's kind of like being a two mana haster, or sorry, two power haster. But then yeah, we can also use Vivian to help kill like Tamio, for example, or if, whatever cyborg creature they have if they have like Biogenic Ooze or anything like that that we need to kill. So post-board games can kind of get a little wonky, and so I like Vivian for just all the random things that can happen in post-board games. Hey, Ace Ventura. I have no idea, Dr. G. Bant mass manipulation decks have been popular for a few months now. All right, a really good showing for Gruel midrange. Four and one. Hey, and we got a pack. And Vivian Nature will take back what right Nature's to Avenger. It. Wait, I, I saw that Avengers movie. I don't remember Vivian being in there. Was she in there somewhere? There's a whole lot of people in that that movie. I don't remember Vivian though. All right, we got a pack. Let's crack it. Try to get a mythic. Oh, they weren't avenging nature. Gotcha. So they didn't need Vivian. Repeated reverberation. Mastery tree. What are we going towards? I guess we're getting green. Try to get this shifting ceratops. Yeah. So we'll get... We'll get this Bark Hide Troll so the next one we can get Ceratops. Cool. Oh, I get another one? We had two of them there. Awesome. Ceratops. Cool. I guess that space gave gave us two, or we got got two with that match because I didn't have any before that match. All right. Anyway, Gruel mid range looked really good. Good old four one here. The growth chamber guardians were honestly really really good for us. Uh, not which is not always the case. You know we've been disappointed with growth chamber guardian with with some decks in the past, but it was awesome here, especially with Domri's ambush. You know being able to use a removal spell that also drew us a 2-2, two -two, which is nice. Uh, these planes, like Ambush, Domri, Vivian, all, all three of those cards really care about having creatures in play, and Growth Chamber Guardian gets you more ways to get more creatures in, uh, out of your deck. So that's very beneficial. Skargon Hellkite was awesome. Didn't really do too much with Chandra. Did help us kill off a, a Nexus opponent, though. But a pretty good little deck here. Nice, straight, and forward. And, you know, just strong. 
So there we go. All right, so that's Gruel Midrange. Good start to our rank up Sunday here. So if you were watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. If so, please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Of course, those of you in chat right here, uh, this is where you can see all the replays over on the YouTube channel there, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. But anyway, that's it here for Gruel Midrange. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.